What is up, YouTube? Flutter RLC, and I'm here with another MLB The Show 16 Diamond Dynasty game. We're here facing none other than Dez. You can take a look at the lineup there. We're, this is going to be the first game I'm using the, I think, 82 overall Mike Avilas I got for doing the Royals collection, where you just got to have 25 Royals players and uh, in your collection, and you get that cool Mike Avilas. Very, very cheap to do as well. As So we're going to be facing Dez, as you guys already know, in this game, and our games are in Madden are always crazy, so I can't wait to see what our games in MLB baseball, will turn out like. You know, he's He's kind of it starting to learn the game a little bit more, and same with me, I'm still kind of learning, so for right now our game might be a little bit sloppy, but just, just give it a little while, okay? Just give it a little while and our games are just going to get absolutely insane, and you're just going to be like, oh my god, holy crap. So, this is going to be the first at bat with Mike Avila's love is bad, in stance, but he's going to ground out right to Alex Rodriguez for the out. So, kind of a you know, tough way to start, but, you know, I had to, you know, show you guys the first at bat. I just, I love his swing. I love his batting stance. I think it's awesome. This one right over to the third baseman, David Wright. Fires over to first. A nice play to get Elvis Andrews out to retire one down. So, now Franklin Cervelli, who, his overalls jumped like an 80-something overall. And he's going to beat the shift here, go to the opposite field, into left. And Alex Gordon... Runs past the ball and Cervelli is going to take two on the miscalculation by Alex Gordon. And now Cervelli is at second now with Alex Rodriguez. After a wild pitch, is going to move him up to third. Here's the pitch from Rondon. And this one swung on right to the third baseman. We're going to try to cut him down at home, but it is behind him. And he is going to be safe at home trying to cut down Cervelli. And it did not work. And he takes the one to nothing lead. This one fly ball out to Jose Bautista. It's going to be an easy out, but it's going to fly right off his head. And that's going to get down a base hit, and Jose Bautista just lets the ball bounce off of the top of his head. A-Rod will move up to third, and runners now at the corners with only one out. Next man up. This one swung on deep into left field. That's going to be enough to score A-Rod. Assuming Alex Gordon can catch it, he almost did it, so that will score A-Rod. And now Dez has a 2 to nothing lead in the bottom of the first. So that's not good. You know, a, a bit of a bad start. Had some uh, bad breaks. Is David Wright going to come on now? I believe in the top of the third to lead things off. Trying to get some going here. Got a fastball high in the zone, which is my bread and butters. He's going to go into the center field gap. That's going to get down. That's going to be at least a double for David Wright. A good thing, a good way to start off. You know, I've been kind of struggling with Wright. I haven't really been hitting too well with him in the games that I've played with him. That's going to Salvador Perez. You can see I haven't been batting too well with him either. But Perez, this one's going to go deep. This is probably should be enough to maybe tag up Wright from second, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm always cautious about that. So I'm just not going to tag up. I'm not going to take the chance. And we're already pinch hitting for Rendon. We're going to bring in Colby Rasmus into the game to try to pinch hit, but I swing at a... I, that was a bad swing. That was bad timing, bad everything. Is Mike Avila going to come up to the plate? He hits this one. This one going to get down for a base hit in front of the center fielder. That is going to bring home a run, and Mike Avila is in his first game on the team. Gets an RBI double now to make it 2-1, to one. and now let's see what our offense can do. Still two outs. Sherrod Dyson up to play 99 speed. Lays down a drag bunt. A perfectly placed bunt. 99 speed. You are not going to get him as Dyson is going to be safe on first. Keep the pressure on as Jose Bautista coming up to the play. 0-2 count. Here's a pitch and I look at strike three. A fastball on the outside of the zone and it gets me. And we're going to bring in Colby Rasmus to pitch. Yep, we're going to keep Rasmus out there because, you know what, YOLO, why not? It's a nice fly ball out there. I know I'm really, um, you know, I'm kind of playing with fire with, you know, having Rasmus out there to pitch because he's, you know, he's not a pitcher. So therefore it might be easy for Dez to just, you know, bang this ball out of the park. But right now, things are going good. This one's going to bounce off the first base bag, and Morales is going to be there to tag out A-Rod. So a good 1-2-3 inning by Rasmus. I mean... All's well that ends well, I guess. So now Kendry's Morales gets jammed on that pitch, but is just able to get it into the opposite field, beating the shift for a base hit. And Morales is now on base to lead off the inning. That's now going to bring up Alex Gordon with one out, trying to, again, string together some more hits. Gordon right into the teeth of the defensive shift, gets a base hit. And now we got two on. Again, keep the line moving. Keep making plays happen right now. Is David Wright going to come to the play one for one already right today with a double try to tie up this game, possibly take the lead. And Wright down. Down the third base line. That is a base hit. That's going to score Morales for sure. We could possibly bring Gordon home, but I'm going to decide not to as Perez up to the plate. And Perez knocks one into left field. That's a base hit. And Perez is going to knock home Alex Gordon. And we take the lead 3-2. to two. Probably should have brought the next runner home, but I wasn't quite sure he did bobble the ball. But again, I, I don't know if I want to take that chance. And then Colby Rasmus gets enough of this one. And this one's going to bring in another run on a sack fly. Make it now 4-2 to two hailstorms. We are in the lead. And we're we're going to do something a little bit risky. We're going to keep in Colby Rasmus to pitch. 
I mean, he had a 1-2-3 inning, already one out in this inning. This one just popped just up right to up. Rasmus. And if Rasmus can possibly get us, like, a couple of innings without giving up a run, I mean, I'll just be completely shocked. Like, this is just the epitome of cheese. Like, this is the cheesiest cheese out there right now as Rasmus gets a strikeout. Dez is just flustered right now, and I think that's kind of what helped me because it caught him off guard because, one, Rasmus isn't throwing, like, mid to high 90s. He's throwing, like, low 90s, high 80s, and then he's got that changeup that's, like, in the low 70s. So I think it kind of caught Dez off guard because he just I guess he wasn't knowing what to expect. I'm not sure. Brasmus, again, another ground ball right to the second baseman. Jamal Charles over to first. Another out. Rasmus is just shutting Dez down right now. He has no chance. Like, Rasmus is still in the game at this point. This one, high fly ball deep into center field. But Gerard Dyson is there for the catch. Like, just look at this. Like, look, we're in the ninth inning, and Rasmus is still out there. This one is deep. This one is trouble. But Gordon is there in time, and Rasmus could possibly... Yeah, I believe that'd be a six inning save, I think. <laughs> Unbelievable. A six inning save. I actually I don't know, because he came in the game, I think we were losing, but uh Man, there's like six innings of no of uh, shutout baseball for Colby Rasmus. What a performance. What a best pitcher in the game. Without a doubt, best pitcher in the game. Now, the game's not over yet. There's still a chance that something could happen, but I don't know. At this point, it's getting late in the game. Rasmus is looking dominating right now. This one over to Al Gordon in the left. He's going to catch it for the out, and Colby Rasmus is the winning pitcher. Wasn't expecting that by any means, but uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to leave a like for Colby Rasmus being the best pitcher in MLB The Show 16. He's practically a DH that can also pitch. I was absolutely blown away the fact that he's able to do that good. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Photoshop, peace out, and as usual, have a great day, guys.